Welcome to St. Patrick's Church, Jerby. The Jerby Mice by Jean Tucker. Meet the Ferrick family. Ferrick is Manx for Patrick. Head of the Ferricks are Daisy and Fred. Both are from Jerby and very well bred with Jessica, Judith and youngest son James to enjoy their company is one of their aims. At the top of the hill overlooking the sea stands the Church of St. Patrick, as proud as can be, for it's home to the Ferricks, a family of mice, who welcome you all to their quaint paradise. Not far away there are ruins to be seen of St. Celia's Chapel amongst fields of green. Their good friends live there with their surname Celine, and more often than not, they are all on the scene. Now this is the tale of this family of mice who live in the church and are really quite nice. So join Daisy and Fred who live such busy lives packed full of fun as the new year arrives. January, fun in the snow. The first snow of winter has covered the land. There's no time to lose in this white wonderland. Sledging and playing and trying hard to stand on the slippery ice as they skate hand in hand. There are snow mice to build and snowballs to throw. Great fun to be had as they rush to and fro. But tonight for the Ferrex, it's off to the show given by the three children of songs they all know. February, the parish walk. As soon as day breaks on the third Saturday, the young mice line up for a quick getaway. It's the big parish walk which they hope to complete. Then home for some hot soup and a soak for tired feet. A time to relax. With the children in bed, it's a chance to relax. Cross stitching for Daisy and for Fred paperbacks. March, spring's in the air. With spring in the air, there's a garden to tend, seeds to be sown and weeds to upend. The white stone mine. The mouse miners too have such long hours to work as quartz is a favourite for homes at the Kirk. April, the anniversary. There's a cake and a drink and a hug for each guest as the pair celebrate all the years they've been blessed. Meanwhile next door on this bright April morn, tiny squeaks from the nursery means a new babe is born. May, carnival time. Everyone's happy, it's carnival time with bands, fancy outfits, and Rose Queen Sublime.
Celine Wedden. Today there's a wedding when two mice say I do to love and to cherish all through their lives too. June, Sincilia's races and games at the towers. Down in the meadows, amongst the wildflowers, the mice and machines have been racing for hours, while the future board members compete at the towers to win a gold medal, come sunshine or showers. July, the Beachcomber Gallery. Fred's brother Albert enjoys nothing more than to spend a few hours alone on the shore. There he collects shells and treasures galore that he turns into heirlooms to sell at the store. August, a day on the beach. The mice love the summer when the weather is hot, so it's off to the beach to their favourite spot. Sliding down sand hills, building sand castles grand, paddling, rock pooling, then home hand in hand. September, back to school. Up at Windy Hill School, a new term has begun, with lessons all morning then games in the sun. There's leapfrog, playing skittles, and learning to bowl, plus a chance before home time to score one more goal. October, harvest time. Trees full of apples, ripe pears and red cherries, hedgerows, rose hips, hawthorns and blackberries, corn in the field, beech nuts thick on the ground, all to take home to be stored when housebound. November, bonfire night. On November the 5th, bright lights fill the sky. There's a bonfire to build while young James makes a guy. The M Factor. All through November, the air has been ringing as groups and soloists practice their singing. But now it's the final, then the prize given, when one lucky act has the honour of winning. December, hanging up the stockings. Daisy's made stockings to hang by the fire and hopes Father Christmas will land on the spire. Christmas Eve, the year's almost over and Christmas is here. So the mice wish their friends best of health and good cheer. And now we say a final farewell to the grandparents as they wait at Jacob's Junction. Their time on this earth very shortly will end and soon off to heaven, this pair will ascend to a life in the stars where all ailments will mend. So as fond as farewells to you all now they send. It's up Jacob's ladder to the pearly gates for the grandparents. Watch out if you've been bad because there's someone else waiting to get you. Ha 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 ha.